Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I just wanted to come in and run my mouth and talk about what's going on down in those peach tree streets. Baby, they handing out pink slips left and right. The girl's not making a cut. The girl's not making a cut, okay? The girls are not making the cut. Um, so long story short, um, according to the neighborhood talk, they are letting us know that Marlo Hampton and Sonya, uh, was it Sonya Richards Ross, um, they won't be returning. This says Marlo Hampton and Sonya Richards Ross won't be returning for the next season of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, neighbors, y'all know we keep our ears uh, ears out in the streets for the uh, for the tea. And most uh, in the most recent cast of the Real Housewives of Atlanta have been at home wondering when their contract for the next season will be arriving in the mail. Well, these two peaches won't be gracing our screens in the next RHOA era. Marlo Hampton and Sonya Richards Ross were both told this week their services as full time housewives won't be needed anymore, and not even in a friend capacity. Um, Y'all sad to see these two were given the boot or nah? Uh, so far, the only confirmed is Portia, but Kenya has been smiling and dropping hints in interviews that she most likely got axed back as well. Um, the only one left is Drew. All right, y'all. So this is what Marlo had to say about her exit from the show. So my contract with Real Housewives of Atlanta ended when season 15 wrapped. Wrapped. Uh, this break from RHOA is a fresh start, allowing me the space to participate in new creative entertainment projects to uh, focus on my career and not reliving my past. My nephews are transitioning into pivotal stages of their academic adolescence. And y'all y'all know Marlo didn't write this, but shout out to whoever wrote this for Marlo. Okay. Um and I'm focused on my representation in their eyes and getting back to showing my multifaceted lifestyle of philanthropy, fashion, and fabulosity. I'm thankful for these amazing, uh, for this amazing platform of housewives, which has allowed me, allowed me to bring awareness to foster care, my nonprofit Glam It Up, and showcase my fashion showroom, Lee, <laughs> Lee eBay. <laughs> um, was it like, like, like archive? I look forward to my continued relationship with Bravo and NBC Universal. I wish truly original in the RHO cast all the best. XOXO Marlo Hampton. I'm not gonna say nothing about her. Uh, this is a cute. This 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 was a cute ex from the show, right? This is how whenever you get fired, <laughs> right? This is how you leave the show. Hey, Nene Leaks. <laughs> um, this is how you leave the show. So in the future, you could pop back up kind of like Cynthia popped up in a few episodes, right? You know, I'm just going to be honest with y'all. You know, I, I, I was happy when Marlo got her peach. I was. Um, even though I felt like out of everybody, Marlo had the best setup on the show. Now, I don't know if this is true or not. I don't know how much these girls get paid. Um, I think it was Tamara Tattles. May she rest in peace. I used to always go to her blogs. Um, I think she was the one who reported years ago. I think it was her, um, that Marlo reportedly got paid like around five hundred, six hundred, six hundred thousand dollars as a friend. Again, I don't know how true that is. That does sound like a lot. But being that Marlo has been on the show for, you know, was on the show for like 10 years before she became a housewife, I thought that I thought that sounded like a decent number. Now, I know she wasn't going to be getting paid with Candy and the other girls were getting paid. So I felt like that could that that could have been a truthful number. But again, I also kind of think like it was probably more around like 200,000. Right. But anyways, nonetheless, I always felt like Marlo had the best setup because. There's no way you watch The Real Housewives of Atlanta and don't know who Marlo Hampton is. She was allowed to be on the show. She was allowed to go on uh, trips. She was allowed to promote her businesses, right? Um, and she didn't have to tell none of her business, girl. <laughs> I thought that was the best setup. If I had to choose any role, if I could be in a role like Marlo where I could remain on a reality show for
for X amount of years and still receive a decent salary. And I ain't got to do nothing. I ain't got to tell. Girl, sign me up. I would take it in a heartbeat. But when Marlo became a housewife, Marlo was too thirsty. She became too thirsty. Marlo was better suited in a friend capacity. When she became a housewife, it, it almost felt like someone told Marlo, girl, you finally got your peach. You're going to have to do whatever you got to do in order to keep it. And I felt like Marlo was willing to do and say whatever she needed to do or say in order to keep her peach. I remember the first time I felt like this was a mistake, even though I still didn't want Marlo, Marlo to lose her peach because I was like, she just got her peach. Don't snatch it away. It was more like I just, I just would have felt bad for her. You know what I'm saying? But I remember the first time I really thought that, oh, this was a mistake. Remember when Sonya had her like Jamaican night? She, her and uh, her mama was cooking the, the was cooking Jamaican dishes. Um, I think they were all help, helping cook, like the jerk chicken or whatever they were cooking. And it really wasn't any type of conflict going on. And Marlo took, I can't remember the exact, like, uh, it, it probably was a little bit of conflict, but not to the point where it should have been where Marlo was going with it. And Marlo asked Sheree to come outside with her. And then all of a sudden, she just started going off on Candy and, 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 Mar and, 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 and Kenya. And she was like, yeah, um, Kenya is a hope, <laughs> right? Calling Kenya all types of HOs. And she was like, and Candy, she ain't got no good pussy. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I was like, oh, girl, you is ghetto. <laughs> You're like, at that point, like, that was like a lot. It was giving me very much like, girl, Zeus. Like, don't get it twisted. The girls get busy on Real Housewives of Atlanta, right? We, we, know, we know Portia going to fight. We know they're they going to curse each other out, right? We know they're going to get busy. But I felt like that was the first time from what I could remember at the time, I felt like that was the first time where I felt like it got real just like gutter and ghetto and banji and just hood and just like, girl, who says stuff like that? Like on this platform anyways, like, girl, you really just went outside and was like, yeah, Kenny ain't got good pussy. Like, girl, what? And I was like, oh, girl, Marlo, baby, you go, baby, you is ghetto. Girl, you is ghetto, girl. Like, girl, you got to bring it in a lot. And like, where is this coming from, anyways? Like, it would be this, first of all. It's still, it's still, it's it's still crass. But at least if I felt like you and Candy had some real conflict, and that's why, it, and you was like, then I could at least try and wrap my brain around where you were going with this. But the fact that I don't remember Candy and Marlo even really having no conflict, it was just like, girl, you just I heard just going anything against the wall, girl, trying to make sure it stick. Just throw some spaghetti to see if it's done. I ain't like it. But I still was like, you know, Marlo, just let her, she trying to do, you know, because Kenya wasn't doing the villain stuff no more. So I was like, Mar Marlo, I guess Marlo was going to be the new villain. And it just didn't work out. And Marlo just didn't do a good job at being in the role. She just didn't. Um, and even when she came back the next season, you could tell she was trying to tone it down, but she just, I, it just was a lot. And then when you take into account the mess that was going on with her in Brooklyn, remember the whole thing that, that Kenya was telling the story about something was going on with Brooklyn at school and Marlo, I guess, was trying to get the tea. And I think she went to the assistant thing. The assistant was the nanny. It was just a whole big mess that Kenya was telling. Kenya told the story. And I was just like, okay, girl, Marlo, you're, you're, you're doing a lot. You're doing a lot for this peach. Um, and Kenya had got to the point where, girl, I don't want to fool with Marlo. And, girl, you know they not choosing Marlo over Kenya, okay? Anyways, I just, you know, it, it, I, it is what it is. I hope, I hope Marlo got some stuff going on, honey. I hope Marlo got some stuff going on because I know that check was real cute. Like I said, even when she became a housewife, I know it probably wasn't as much as Candy's and Kenya's, 
but I'm sure she will still bring it in. Uh, I'm I could see Marlo once she became a housewife, probably bringing in like eight or nine. I could see it. I could see it. I could see it. But that's a lot of money to lose. And then Sonya, I I I don't think Son. I don't think y'all gave. I'm just gonna go ahead and be honest with y'all. I always say that, girl. Like I'm like 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 I be lying, girl. I don't think y'all gave Sonya a fair shot. I really don't, girl. Y'all, when I tell y'all, did not see it. I think I think it was just me. Girl, I think I was the only one who felt like Sonya was okay. I really don't think Sonya was a horrible housewife. And I'm gonna just go ahead and say it. I think a lot of y'all just didn't like Sonya because she didn't side with Candy or Kenya, and she was more so on Marlo's side. Now, don't get it twisted. I think that Sonya definitely would do say things and do things where it made you quit. Like, girl, like she would act like she wasn't Team Marlo, but girl, she really was Team Marlo. But instead of her just saying that Marlo's my friend and I'm always going to side with her no matter what, she would try and act like she wasn't Team Marlo or that she, she would try to act like she was being neutral when she really wasn't being neutral. Girl, you're going to go up for Marlo, right? So M M Sonya definitely had her ways, but I just, I, I didn't, I didn't get, y'all just did not like Sonya. Girl, girl, my sister didn't see it for Sonya. Girl, my friends didn't see it for Sonya. Girl, my cousins, y'all didn't see it for Sonya. I used to be like, God damn, girl, girl y'all was not, here for Sonya. So I was like, well, maybe, maybe they see something I don't. I don't know, child. I'm just trying to get a girl's a chance, believe it or not. Anyways, you know, Sonya gonna be all right. Sonya already had money before the show. Um, she wasn't on the show long enough to me for I felt like the income would make a difference. I don't know how much, like I said, I don't know how much any of these girls are making, but being that Sonya was only on the show for two years, I don't think she was making. I could see her making like, you know, like a few hundred thousand maybe. I don't know. I'm just making up something in my head. But I don't think that it was enough to the point where girl, it would make a difference in her lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Like Marlo, I can see her losing that check making a difference in her lifestyle. Hello? Portia losing that check, that's why she coming back, girl. <laughs> Made a difference in her lifestyle because now she's about to leave Simon. And like I said, and I, and I, now I will stand on this. There are a few housewives Lisa Vanderpump, Heather Dubro, Candy Burris. It's probably a couple more that we can add to the list. Where if they lose a check, girl, they're gonna be all right. Everybody else, which is not, it's not a, it's not a problem because girl, we all need a check. Don't don't get into it. We all need a check, but girl, that's they check. <laughs> if y'all get what I'm trying to say. But hopefully, Marla, all right, girl. I wonder what's her, what her, what's her next step is gonna be. I can see her doing something with Wee TV. My friend, my sister, not my friend. My sister said, "You think she's gonna go to Zeus?" <laughs> I don't see her going to Zeus, but girl, I didn't see Mar, I didn't see Nene going over working with Zeus either. But I guess a check is a check, honey. I can see Marlo doing something with Carlos King. Does Carlos and Marlo do Carlos and Marlo get along? I don't know, but I can see her doing something with Wee. Mm hmm. If they bring that bad and bougie show back next season. Not bad and bougie, bold and bougie. If they bring bold and bougie back next season, I can see Marlo being on the cast. I think she will fit in. Anyways, shout out to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, Marlo, girl, you had a you had a good run. Sonya, girl, I try I tried my hardest, girl, but the girls told me to shut up, girl. But <laughs> the girls basically told me, girl, shut up, girl, before before we turn our back on you. So, Sonya, you gotta go too. <laughs> all right y'all i'm gone i'll talk to y'all later have a good day bye y'all